Good day, lords and ladies. My name be Nathan. And I'm Haley. And this is the cutest little house elf that you ever did see. Her name is Sage. <laughs> and if you can't guess by saying house elf, this is hey, Wizarding Dada. Weekend. Dada, Hi, Dada, Sage. Dada. Yeah, this, so this is Wizarding Weekend, which is also combined with Time Traveler's Weekend. But today we are representing the Ravenclaw house and the Gryffindor house. We, oh, and she's hugging me. And like we said, Sage is dressed as a... As house, Dobby. As really, Dobby. But yeah. yeah. Yeah, we'll show her uh, outfit to you once uh, she gets out of the stroller. But we've already picked up a pickle on the stick. This thing is probably about a third of the size of what it originally was. Yeah. And she's already like chowed down on most of it. Or she ate a third at least. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But she's loving that stuff. Yeah. And then you got your elephant, which you got from Father yeah. Christmas. Uh-huh. Okay, so we are waiting up behind the chessboard for someone special, and when we come back from our intro, you will find out who it is. Look at you, little Dobby. You're so cute. Where are you going? Exploring. While we're up here waiting behind the chessboard, I wanted to point this out to you. This is new for this year, which we did not cover in our new video. This is Arcade Da Vinci. So they got all these fun things, like this giant ball game. So this is the Grand Labyrinth. It is a giant ball game. You need two people to play it, and the point is to get the ball through the maze and not have it drop in any of those holes. I've played a small version of this, but not like a 10 by 10 version. This is pretty cool. And it's one of our favorite prize games. That's cool. Now, last week we were here and we saw a gentleman play this game. So this game here, the point of it is... The point of the game is, is try to make it up through the maze here and to reach it to the finale at the top. All the way up to that without hole. Getting, yeah, and to, without getting in any of the other holes. So let me guess, you, you pull these ropes right here. So then right the oh, oh, we missed it. Wow, we're actually doing pretty good. <laughs> then we lost it. Like yeah, there it is. Thank you. Well, thank you. And then you got other fun games like Connect Four over here yeah, and... Connect Four, and this gentleman here is doing a puzzle challenge. We have three different levels on our puzzle. This is our third level, and if he can solve it under five minutes, we have a prize. That's really cool. And then what else do you got over here? We have checkers. Giant checkers, that's neat. And what is this over here? This is quite the contraption. So it's based on a pastime game and we call it Reach for the Stars. It's on a lever system where the player can load the ball to each level. Oh, that's cool. The point of the game is to try to reach it to the highest point on the board. So you want to make it here to the red. So you want to give the ball a little momentum and roll it up as far as you can. And I look like I'm about to do it today. Yay! Wow. wow, like first shot. <laughs> I know, like first shot. It's not like you work the stand or anything. Uh, yes, I do. Practice, but that was pretty good. Oh, <laughs> so cute. Is that a hat? Not in the hair. Yeah. Oh, you want me to have some? Thank you. Not in your mouth. Did you find fairy stones? If you eat them, you do not become a fairy, so don't eat them. She's already a fairy. Yeah, well, no, she's a house elf. Oh, that's true. She's a house elf today. But she likes them. Do you want some fairy stones? We can, yeah! Aww. Did you see that? Aww. We can pick ten of them for a dollar. Yeah. Shall we do that? Pick your ten favorites. Which ones do you want? This one? You have to put them in here, okay? One at a time. Just one at a time. One at a time. Good job. Okay, one, two, three, four. Wait, nope, nope, nope. You can't walk away with them, okay? Pick some cool ones. Here, we need to get six more. One at a time, baby, here. Go like this. It's one fistful at a Pick. time, Mommy. Boop. See, you wanna do it? Yeah. <gasps> All right. We'll figure that out. All right, let's see if there's 10. Oh, thank you. Have a great day. We paid the lady. And now we got magic fairy stones. Here, this is your bag. You can shake it around. You're just walking away again. This is your MO anymore. If you can be free, you just like walk wherever you want. Well, my first two are now 22 and 23. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. My you son are pretty. is 17. He was my... Oh, yes, this can still happen to you. Yeah. Do you want to try one on? Yeah, want to try something pretty on? Yeah, let's go back to Mommy. Let's go back to Mommy. The other ones oh, will not fit her. It's your size. Here, let's show Daddy. Let's show Daddy. Turn around. Daddy, look at Daddy. Uh, She's like, why? There's a far more interesting weird woman behind the uh, Oh my look, gosh, you're gorgeous. Beautiful. It matches your eyes. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> on the road again. Good day, my dear. Oh, Good day, felt so my dear. Day. We found the someone Good special. Day. Hello, my love. Oh my goodness. What are you eating? Is that a pickle? Pickle. pickle. My goodness. Oh, look at her girl. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Can so you run away? Dobby, come back. Dobby. Dobby, come on back. Come on back, the queen wants to see you. She's a free house elf. Yes, yes. she's free now. Come here, my dad. Clearly, she's running oh, everywhere. Oh, she's a nice. I can't believe she is walking and climbing. Oh my, day. running, climbing. Someone is enjoying it. Almost jumping. Oh. Trying. <laughs> my dear. Yeah. Hello, my darling. <laughs> Do you want to show her your, your fairy stone? <gasps> fairy stone? Ooh, it's my oh, dear. My. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nope, nope, she's good. Oh, she's a free range. She's leading your parade. You must be following her. This is our day, every day when we're here. Oh, it's the Hobbit Hall! Yes, hello! Hello! You've been everywhere. Well, and I'm sure this one is a handful to go. She is, oh, she is. And she doesn't like to sit in her chariot. Oh, no! She wants to run. Very well, my dear. Very well. She's on the wall. Uh oh. She recognized her name. She's a job. Sage. Sage! You want to go, you want to go see some birdies? Now that we met the Queen and we introduced you to the Da Vinci Arcade and we picked out fairy stones, which was just a whirlwind of things because while well, we were just following her wherever she would go. You have to stay here. Yeah, you she, have to stay with us. You have to mat. stay here. Yep, stay on the mat. Now we are over by the chessboard and we are going to watch the Nightwing's Birds of Prey show. Is it Birds of Prey? It's something like that. Falconry show. I mean, we're watching one of the, the, the shows. <laughs> come on, come on back. Come on back. Come on back. Come back here. Find a good seat because there's going to be some birdies coming out soon. Birdies? So our show is called Nightwings Birds of Prey. Uh, we are very, very happy to be here. Uh, this is our 18th season. Woo! Congratulations. Thank you, three people right here. Everybody else who attended. So uh, you guys want to meet some birds? Yeah! Cool, because I have a really, really big surprise. This bird is actually a, an awesome, awesome surprise. But I originally did not intend to bring out there, but uh, I changed my mind. Hi. What are you doing? Oh, wow. Beautiful. Oh, he's good. So, everybody, this is Ezel. Everybody go ahead and say hello to Ezel. Hello, Ezel. Ezel is what's called a black and white hawk eagle, which I think hands down is the latest name for a bird ever in the history of the world. Um, I mean, it's very descriptive. She's a hawk eagle. She's black and white. Lane. I, uh, if I would have been given the power to name this particular species of bird, I would have called them the awesomest of the most awesome hawk eagles. I'm super excited to be able to share her with you guys. She is one of two in the country. Um, the other one's in my house. <laughs> Because me and my dad own both of them. And uh, they're from South America. This bird is seven years old. Fun fact, Ezel, her name, is the Mayan goddess of death. When I say hawk eagle, usually people go, oh, well, is that like a hybrid or what's going on? And uh, the reason they call them hawk eagles is that they possess uh, traits of both eagles and hawks. So when I use the word hawk, I want to be absolutely crystal clear. All right? When I use the word hawk, I'm describing excipiters or true hawk. So, hawk eagle is a combination of excipiter-like traits and eagle-like traits. One of this bird's uh, hawk-like traits uh, is that longer tail. Every single excipiter or true hawk has a really, really long tail and short, broad wings because these guys are designed for one thing, one thing only, speed and depth. But their eagle-like traits, uh, a little bit harder to see. One of them, really, really easy. Now everybody can see how big her feet are. Yeah. Right? These big feet, she can generate close to 1,500 pounds of pressure per square inch. You might also notice how incredibly long their talons are. Yeah, they work real well. Talk to this hand. Ideally, I would like to fly her in the show um, at some point. Um, I'm just going to have to be incredibly careful because uh, this show is a dog-friendly show. 
Yeah. So it's a whole thing. So that and well small units. Nice. Okay. Give this guy a round of applause. So. From the Odd Roll YouTube channel, check it out. These guys are awesome. They've been coming here for well, some fucking little girls' families. Yeah, they do stuff, so give them a giant round of applause. We're going to say goodbye to her. One more big round of applause. This is Sonia, everybody. Go ahead and say hello to Sonia. The Harrison Saw comes to us from the desert southwest, Arizona. New Mexico, Southwest Texas. These guys are one of the only social birds of prey on our planet. They have probably the coolest nickname in the world. They are commonly referred to as the wolves of the air. If you have ever seen a bird of prey show with a Harrison hawk, commonly you have seen a male Harrison hawk. Because male Harrison hawks will do the same thing over and over and over again, and they just don't care. All right? Female Harrison hawks, while they are also highly intelligent, and natural problem solvers, they have a tendency to be free thinkers. <laughs> yeah. So sometimes what happens is you do the same thing multiple times, they go, oh, cool, hold my beer. <laughs> and then you get to see a fun situation called loss of positive control. <laughs> I will warn you, this bird is not shy. She might fly close to you. If she does, do yourself a favor. Do not reach out and try to touch her. Okay, what I need you to do, this is very important, I need you to not move, okay? Stay right there, look at the bird, don't move. <laughs> Give her a giant round of applause, is that cool? How cool was that? Have a seat, okay? Pinky Magoo, all right. So, um, Sonia is 16 years old. Look out. You're fine. Are you afraid of birds? Not yet? Okay, cool. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? That's the third person now. Will you stop it? Let's see something really, really fun. Don't move. Don't move. She moved. Okay, cool. That would be fun to see. Okay. Alright, so uh, in the bird of prey world, females are up to two thirds larger than their male counterparts. This bird is an inordinately large female Harrison hawk. She weighs almost two pounds, has about a three foot wingspan. Good girl. Alright, oh, you guys want to see something really cool? This is a little thing we like to call the maple leaf. Give her a big giant round of applause. Fun fact, that's what we call total trust. Right there. Um, so even though this bird is a rather large female Harris's hawk, don't let the size fool you. This bird is actually pretty darn graceful. And to show you guys how graceful she can be, I now need the assistance of six adult volunteers, three of the adult male variety and three of the adult female variety. If you stand right there, you're going to face me. Perfectly excellent. Push your partner. Dan, right here. Face her. Arms behind your back. Should be good. All right. Just so we're all clear, this is kind of the uh, the whole thing that I have to do with this bird is different stuff all the time. If you will notice, I have everybody arranged in a very specific fashion. Does anybody have any idea what we have turned all of our new friends into? Obstacle course. Obstacle course. Nice one. Okay. Victims. Victims. I would have liked that one. Good. <laughs> Good, good, good. Trees is actually what I'm looking for. And actually, uh, this little group of amazing small humans, give them a big giant round of applause. They are a little thing called the brush pile, so that they can maybe see exactly what a rabbit sees for the last time. Give them a big giant round of applause. We're going to do that once more. Because I don't really feel like we got close enough to Emmett. <laughs> You guys take about a half a step towards each other. Perfect. So you have. Dan, step up just a little bit. So
give Sony a big giant round of applause. Can I do have one final question for you? Did you enjoy the show? Yeah! Well, we absolutely enjoyed performing for you, but please remember this. We only have one planet and a whole lot of creatures just like this one look to us for their protection and their well-being. So please, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your festival day. We're not waste. Isn't it yeah, beautiful? That's kind of cool. You don't remember me, but you've known me most of your life. Yeah, that's true. That's fine. You just have your elephant and your pickle. Good times. Will you enjoy your pickle? Okay? It's nice to see you again. I imagine I'll see you again. Yep. Thank you so much. No problem, man. You put on a great show. Yay. Turkey leg. Sage, do you want a turkey leg? I just got my shoe off. Do you want a turkey leg? All right, let's go get a turkey leg. Here we are. We are at Just Legs over here in the German area next to the German kitchen and all that stuff. And we're going to get an $11 turkey egg from our friend. $11. Thank you. Turkey leg. Thank you. I got you a turkey leg. Look, Look at that. Her mouth is gaped. <laughs> are you drooling yet? Oh, very nearly. She does. That's a, that's a, uh, I want to bite. Oh, Do you want to bite Tom a turkey right leg? In. There you go. Lick it. Lick, yep. Yeah. It's funny because like she's never experienced one, but she knows it's supposed to be eaten. Is that good? I guess you're eating it, so she's she's seen how it's done. Yeah, seeing right. the master over here. Oh, yummy, yummy. That does look good now. Oh, look at that. Right. Just chomp right in. Yeah. Do you like that? Is that good? Along with your applesauce? I think I'll have my applesauce. Well, turkey and applesauce goes together, right, Mom? It's very um, holiday-ish. Yes. yes. Mm. What does it taste like? All I need to do is turkey leg. Does it taste like eleven dollars? Yeah, <laughs> sure does. It is a very good rent fair staple to get, mm -hmm. at least once a season. Every year, yep. And since it's her like first official full season this year, we had to get it for her at least once. Yeah. Queen. Good day. No, I just ended up in this. I don't know. Oh. Last call for favors. Are you getting some joust snacks out? All right, we are sitting over here by Bosworth Field. We are going to watch the ultimate joust, and we actually have a favor to give to Sir Balin. Yeah, wherever that is. Yeah. It's on the other side. Yeah, it's on the other side of the stroller. We like to walk around with it and let it like blow in the wind. But yeah, we're going to give that to him. And then we're actually going to put in footage from a few weeks ago from the very first time Sage got to see a joust this season and with all the fireworks and all that because she was just mesmerized. Oh yeah. So that will cut in at the very end of this. But it was really fun, um, you know, watching the Birds of Prey show, yep. having them interact with us yeah. and get really cool video footage. Mm -hmm. You sadly had to like entertain Sage most of the time. So you didn't get yeah. to catch as much as you would have liked to. Yeah, that's all right. Next time. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, when you have a toddler that just like runs around, that's kind of what happens. You okay. But you'll get to see it when you uh, review this video. So that'll be nice. That's true. Yeah, you'll get to see a really good angle of it too. Mm -hmm. All right, so enough talking. Thank Let's you. watch a joust. What do you see? Things to end this day on a festive tone with an ultimate joust. My people, raise your voices now for Sir Your 
my friends, I am a peacekeeper. I love peace. And I will kill every man, woman, and child to get it. Test the field for the footing of your steeds by lancing at the ring. Squire, this is one ring to be held upon the ground. they would ride this day. Aye, let them seek their favors. Knights, seek your favors. Anyone wishing to favor these knights, please come forward now. Who cheers for Caleb? Caleb! 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 I know I'm a mere Caleb, but you fight for us. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Sir Sebastian. Hello, sir. Good luck, Sir Balin. Thank you. So that is our day here at the Pennsylvania Renaissance Fair, trying turkey legs and pickles and checking out new things and watching a joust yeah. and watching a bird of prey show. So we hope you really enjoyed your time with us and we enjoyed being here. We always enjoy being here and we're getting a lot of new people recognizing us. Yeah, yeah. So thank you everyone who said hi to us already. Yes. It's been fun. It has been fun. But if you haven't yet, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and until next time. So long. Farewell. Namarie. Good day, Lord. Oh, you ready? Yeah. Ah, oh, no. You're too little for this, aren't you? Okay, hang on. Here, get that one. Get that one. Put it back in the bin. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. You thought she was in there. <laughs> ah, that would be so impressive. horrible. I raised three of my own, so I was confused. She's down here. Three, I'm sure. To him for capturing the beast of Corbin!